Hurricane Lee has become a major force in the Atlantic Ocean, bringing power and potential destruction. It has been a Category 5 storm since September 5th and has reached winds of 160 miles per hour. Its latest track is slowly moving northeasterly across northern Cuba, affecting Jamaica on its way. Previous forecasts had the cyclone making landfall in Florida, but this has changed with the latest track. It is expected to move hundreds of miles east of Florida and gain strength as it moves into the open Atlantic. Its current track has already caused extensive structural damage and flooding in parts of Cuba, as well as hurricane warnings in Jamaica and other nearby islands. Lee is expected to reach its maximum intensity on September 8 and carry on in a northeasterly direction for the next few days. By the end of the week, Hurricane Lee should be crossing the open waters of the Atlantic and is threatening to become a dangerous hurricane. Meteorologists have warned of damaging winds, surge, and wave effects along the East Coast's coastline should Lee continue on its current track. Lee has already caused severe tropical storms in the Greater Antilles and parts of the Bahamas. If Lee continues to its projected track, Florida could experience some of its effects, but the greatest concern is for the Caribbean islands and east coast of the U.S. While many are hoping that the storm's current track shifts to spare parts of the U.S., Residents of the Caribbean are frantically preparing for the worst. Residents have been stocking up on non-perishable food items, water, and other necessary items, preparing for the dangerous combination of heavy rains, damaging winds, and the powerful storm surge that could come with Lee. Because of the location of the storm, the wind shear is less, allowing Lee to reach its peak intensity. As of now, experts are unsure which parts of the Caribbean Lee will hit and with what intensity. In addition, the threat of storm surges along the east coast of the U.S. and the possibility of the storm strengthening remain serious concerns. Despite the relative uncertainty about least track, officials are taking necessary precautions like closing schools and cancelling any non-essential activities. Information is constantly being released by the National Hurricane Center to update residents in the areas potentially affected by Lee. Government agencies are warning citizens to prepare for the worst especially given the potential for Lee to become a major hurricane. However, officials still have high hopes that they will not need to use the full emergency plans prepared for Lee. Meanwhile, the destructive nature of Lee has reminded people along the east coast of the importance of having emergency plans in place. Experts estimate that the storm could cause billions of dollars in damage to affected areas, if it does not cause extensive destruction and intense flooding. For now, Hurricane Lee is continuing on its track, which is still projected to be far south of the U.S. Meteorologists predict that the storm may weaken in intensity due to wind shear but will not change its northeasterly course. As Lee persists, authorities are monitoring the situation closely and preparing all necessary measures for the possible worst-case scenario.